Chapter 617 Mayachal shouted angrily into the phone, Elaine, you're slinging mud, that's a pack of fucking lies. Elaine blurted anxiously, Oh, don't you believe me? Fine. If you can find Lucy, I'll admit defeat. What do you mean? Go and figure it out yourself. I'm very tired now, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Immediately, Elaine ended the call. Mayachel almost smashed the phone with anger when he heard the busy tone on the phone. Harold caught his arms hurriedly and said, Dad, calm down. The priority right now is to find Mom. Unfortunately, Harold didn't know that his mother was on the way to the gullies in Aerith, and it was utterly impossible for the Richard family to find her with their resources. Olivia leaned against her father and persuaded, Yeah, Dad. Don't be so mad. What did the bitch say? Mayachel huffed indignantly, Elaine said that your mom has an affair with some dude and that she eloped with him. What? Harold, Olivia, and Lady Richard looked shocked. Their jaws almost dropped to the floor. An affair? Lady Richard shouted. Is this true? I don't know, Mom, Mayachel said anxiously, that's what Elaine said on the phone. She said that the setup and scam were just a decoy, and that Lucy had actually set me up for me to let down my guard so that she could grab more time for herself to run away. Harold cursed in dismay, the bitch lied, Dad. My mom did not have an affair, let alone elope with him. Mayachel's face twisted a little weirdly. He said in a much calmer and colder tone, we aren't sure. Anyway, now that I think about it, your mom did seem a little suspicious. What are you saying? Harold and Olivia asked simultaneously, what do you mean by that? Your grandma has been asking me for the seven million dollars but your mom didn't want to give it to her. She's the one who had suggested that I transfer all the money into her account and let me tell your grandma that the money was stuck in the fund management account. That was why I had transferred all our money to her, the 25 million, all of it. Upon hearing the amount, Lady Richard's eyes opened so wide they almost popped out of her eye sockets. She slapped Mayachel across the face and chided, didn't you say that you only had 10 million? Mayachel was shocked by the slap as well as the truth he just blurted impulsively. He was feeling extremely aggrieved and angry that he raised his voice and talked back, Mom. It was you who estimated that I have 10 million. I didn't say it myself. Then why didn't you be honest with me? I'm your mother. Why didn't you come clean with me and tell me how much money you actually had? Mayachel was dumbstruck. Indeed, it was his fault for concealing the fact about the actual balance in his account, he was guilty as charged. Lady Richard huffed in anguish, I always thought that you were different from your brother. I thought that you were better, smarter, and slicker than him. But, how dare you, how the hell dare you lie to me? Then, she gritted her teeth and muttered, a wise man can be ruined by his own wisdom, silly boy. Instead of being truthful to your mother, you gave all the money to your wife. Great, now that she has run away with all the money, we're done. Olivia uttered in agitation, no. Grandma, my mom wouldn't do that. Lady Richard glared at her and blurted from the corner of her lips, she wouldn't do that, you say? Then, tell me, where is she now? Where did she go? Why did she disappear now? Then, she continued aggressively, also, your mom kept talking about the scam, but why did all of her accomplices including herself disappear except Elaine? This shows that there is a lot of oddity in this matter. Harold blurted his opinion that popped at the top of his head, is it possible that Elaine was behind this? Could it be that she, in turn, took care of my mom and her accomplices? Lady Richard exclaimed disgustedly, Elaine? Do you think that the stupid bitch is capable enough to do such a thing? Only your idiotic uncle would be fooled by her. I don't want to comment about your mother's character right now, but she is ten times more clever than Elaine, that's the fact. If she had really wanted to fool Elaine, there's no way that Elaine could have counterattacked.